What's up, everybody? I'm not gonna keep it like this because it's gonna fall. It might rain. But I'm out here pushing my books. They got the news over there. I don't know why. I don't know what happened. I don't know what they're talking about over there. Oh, but you see the title of my video? The title of my video is called Money, Money, Politics, Courts, uh, Media, Education. I couldn't fit education in. But I was saying that was the main steps to uh, black liberation. That's the steps. People always make it seem like it's about education. It is about education, but not in the sense that you think. Because a person a person that went to, went to a trade school can make just as much money as a person with education. You got people with all this education now and they're still trying to find jobs. Or you got people with all this education, they work in the McDonald's. You know, they got a, a, a minimum wage job. They got all that education. And that's what gets people caught up. It's because they wanted to spend a lot of money for education. Then when it's time to gra when they graduate, they can't find a job and what they went to school for. That's why it's a lot of times it's better to get a trade. So that's why I said in my post, I lost you talking. And that's why I was saying in my post, it's money first, then it's politics, no, it's then it's the court systems. Then it's the media, then it's education. I may have it wrong between the, uh, maybe it's money, court, politicians, media, then education. Maybe it goes like that. But when you got money, you could pay, you, could, you know, then you have better representation when it comes to trade than it is to have an education, like I always say. Because when it's time to pay the money back, the money is not... You don't have to pay as much money back and you're more inclined to find a job and what you went to school to get a trade for. That's why. And the reason I was thinking about media is because people believe what they read in the media. That's why whenever you talk to the media, you must remember they always get the last word. And there are not many black owned media outlets. There are not that many black um, media owned outlets. So that's why people say what they want to say. And there's nobody at the other end of the table to counter what they're saying because there are not many black owned media outlets. I remember the last black thing, the black, uh, what was it? Black people had the New York, we had uh, Ebony Magazine and Jet. I don't think those are out anymore. And we had Dons and Diva and Fed Magazines and stuff like that. But that's a different genre. I think black people need more people to speak up for them. And not just, see, and, that, and that's the bad thing about TV because people believe what they see on TV. Even if they, if it's a lie, they done heard it. They, after you done heard it, it sticks with you for a while. So you need to see positive stuff, but you don't, that, that's why you used to see so much negativity on TV with black people. It's acting like, acting like coons and shit. Or, or and sambos, and not it's coons and, uh, yeah, sambos and shit. Like Tom and Jerry, Tom and Jerry, or, or Donald Duck. Donald Duck gets shot, and he got the big lips like a black person. Or, or, they, act, or they talking and acting like Africans, and they're about to cook each other and shit like that. We used to have all kind of racist cartoons on TV. She went fast. Yeah, that's why. Because there's no media outlets on by black people, so they can say all kind of negative shit. But let me go. I got to try some more books. Check me out online. Corner stores in the middle of the block. I would set the phone out here, but it might, it might go dead. And I need it. I need the phone. I need the phone so when people come use a Cash App or Venmo, they're doing some news over there. I don't know what they're talking about. I see a small crowd over there.